Since when does something like this happen? You don't even bother to tell your mother. I didn't want to worry you, Mum. Of course I'm going to worry. Well, there's no need, because we're fine. For now. What about the next time? We're getting all the lots and the doors changed. I just don't like you being in that house without having a man around. What are Vinnie and Norman? Well, Norman works most nights, and Vinnie, when he's not working, is out on the town. Well, there's Lemay and Jay. We're not exactly helpless. Oh, this guy, he must be some sort of psycho. He's never hurt anyone. Until the other day. The same day he was at your place, he was having a go at someone down the street. It, it was in the paper. That was only because they walked in on him. <sighs> Once he starts, he keeps coming back. You ask Nick Harrison. Look, we're making sure no one's in the house alone at night. Maybe you should put Mark on standby. Hey, Ma, check this out. I'll see you, Ma. It's the gift list for Chris and Tony's wedding, hot off the computer. And I don't even know what half these things are. Like there. Oh, glassware. Two weeks' wages for a dinky little vase. Yeah, and that. Finest of fine china. Two months' wages. Because look. Oh, I wasn't thinking of spending that much money. A nice job of wine that. Oh, cool. That's what I was going to get him. Yeah, a case that only set you back about 500. Um, go back to work now. That's <laughs> what you get when you grow up with a silver spoon in your mouth. Yeah, we'll keep it in your mouth. Warn or not on the gift list. Yeah, well, it doesn't really sound like Tony. I would have thought she would have known better. Yeah, especially now. I mean, some of us might not even have jobs, so. Maybe someone should have a word. Oh, right, so I get to tell her she's being really greedy. Pass. Maybe we could all put in together. Excellent idea. Yeah, well, maybe we'll manage to afford one thing on the gift list. Oh, wonderful. Then we'll all look stingy. Well, they're pretty riled, so you shouldn't have any trouble getting them to talk. I'll get back to you about a time and a place. OK. Cheers, mate. Sorry to interrupt your campaign. If you think giving me the sack's going to stop me, then you can think again. I'm not here to sack you. Although, unfortunately, that's probably inevitable. So just do it. Inevitable unless you put a halt to this media circus. No chance. No chance of winning, no. But if you stop hiding behind a bunch of journos and meet the board head on, then, well, we might just have a chance. Who's hiding? And who didn't want me to talk to the DHB? That was back then. When you thought you could get them to change their minds. And I haven't given up yet, but it's pretty much do or die now. So what do you think? Tomorrow afternoon? Right, are we all sorted then? I think I can manage without you for a wee while. Great, well, I'll take this little one up to annoy her daddy. Mm -hmm. Come on, I'll be back. <laughs> cool, so the casino night still all go? Just a bit of light relief for the medical staff. Oh, so little old calf workers aren't invited. I didn't say that. OK, cool. I feel like a wimp now that Andrew stopped me. Should have fronted up the DHB way back. Could be an ambush. You reckon? I'll get you to say something inflammatory? Give Andrew an excuse to fire you? Yes, so I'm headed that way anyway. So, we lose a great doctor and about the best boss I've ever had. But you haven't had that many bosses, have you? Mark, now you're coming to the casino night, aren't you? After all your hard work. Of course I am. And Maya will be there too. And you too, Craig? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm feeling really lucky. <laughs> I'll have to check with Jay. I've just talked to her. She wasn't that keen. Oh, I'll probably give it a miss then. Come on, it's a morale booster to G up the troops. Therefore, all the troops need to be there. The first social club do I've organised and my own daughter isn't interested. All those years of schoolgirl netball. I was there cheering her on every weekend. I bet you were. And I drove her 45 minutes to her piano lesson. She never got past chopsticks, but then I still took her. <laughs> and you never asked a thing in return, did you, Mark? <laughs> A little support now would be nice. That's all I'm asking. What's the time? About an hour past the time that we were supposed to meet. Oh, sorry, I totally crashed up. Well, you must have because I called a few times. No, honestly, I did. Well, anyway, I thought that you were on your way, so I waited and waited. Oh, I'm sorry, honestly. Well, well, maybe next time you'd rather go with Tama. No, no, no. I want to go with you. Can I take you out for a coffee to make it up? No, because now I've run out of time. I've got study to do. Oh, 
honestly, I feel like flying to Australia and pinning Victor down myself. How dare he even think about taking Donna away the same week as my wedding? Yeah, I mean, it's not like either of them deserve a holiday, is it? Well, of course they do, but does it have to be now? Does it have to be the other side of the world? They could come here. I think they've been planning it for a while. Victor mentioned something at Christmas. Oh, shush. I'm allowed a little selfish moment, aren't I? I've just lost my bridesmaid. It's all right for you. You've got Craig lined up. I had a few anxious moments when Guy said no. You'll be okay. You're not short of friends. Stop making sense. It's not helping. (laughs) Hey, how are the wedding plans going? I've just lost a bridesmaid. Oh, no. What a shame. Yeah, glad someone thinks so. Well, the gift list came online this morning, if that's any consolation. Sydney whipped it up already. We hardly talked about it. Was it okay? Yeah, there were heaps of beautiful things to choose from. Sydney's amazing. I should have got him to organise my bridesmaid. And my afternoon shift. I'd better go. See ya. Look, if you need someone to step in at the last minute, I'd be more than happy to. Thanks. Uh, To be honest, I haven't even really thought about it. Well, the offer's there.